Hello everyone and welcome back to Pong. I'm Jacob here to show you more of the Technomancer. Some more walkthrough action to help you get through your day. Um, yes, this is the door that I go through. Trust me, I've been here before. <coughs> okay, so I think this is the way that I need to go first. There's a chest over here. Whoop, see Daisy. Oh, I keep overstepping. Gosh. Very frustrating. Ah, shrimp monster. Shrimp spider creature. Yeah, that reminds me again. Um, I mentioned it some in the previous video about how I thought the choice of creature type was interesting. Um, how they were all based off of based off of sea creatures. I think it's a very unique thing to do. Something that's definitely different and more um, I mean, I guess all, all I can really say about it is that it's unique. It's like in one of the early um, videos that Spider Games or Spiders Games, whatever it is, uh, put out for the Technomancer. They were being interviewed by somebody, and they mentioned how like they really hated spiders, and they were like, yeah, yeah, spiders have, have been overdone. And they have been. Like, you see it a lot in games that you see a lot of the same creature types sort of coming out and being used. And, um... And, yeah, so I think that kind of... That makes the direction of this game even better, I think. Because it gives, it gives you something new to look at. It doesn't... It's not a rehashed rehashed game, it's actually somebody trying to... Ah, I was poisoned. It's actually somebody trying to come up with a new approach to how games look and how games feel, which I thoroughly enjoy. <clears throat> and like I mentioned before, this game reminds me of um, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And so just the atmosphere of this game and even the creatures gives me the same feeling that that Star Wars game did. Um, it's it's very open, even though it still has a linear enough scheme to follow. Um, <clears throat> and on top of that, you you feel very right right now. I feel very involved with the story. And I think that the atmosphere is very creative and actually gives you kind of a sense for how for how you're supposed to be feeling. You know what I'm saying? Because <clears throat> not everybody looks at a game and gets the same feeling that that the uh, game creators are actually trying to convey. And so I feel like this is a great take, something that people can get into. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to incorporate my gun more so that takes another section of my brain to think about. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure like you can all tell that smoke is just coming, coming out of my ears right now. This train has really moved along trying to talk with at the same time. But yeah, so it just kind of gives me the same feel that I know and love from uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And it gives me enough customization freedom that um, I can enjoy it a lot more too. Oh! Okay, <clears throat> so we mentioned it before uh, when we, well, you know, if, if you watched the uh, skill tree video, <clears throat> the fact that there were perks dealing with guns overheating. And so now we've just witnessed that uh, for the first time, <clears throat> that guns can in fact reheat. And it has a tendency to get in the way of, <laughs> of what you're currently doing. So make sure you don't rapid fire that pistol that you've got because it will <clears throat> it will fail on you as you're as you're playing. <laughs> I I don't think it will if you make sure that you put enough um, time in between shots, but it's certainly not something that I think um, 
you should try pushing the limits on too often. Okay, uh, so, all right, so I feel like I want this one, because if I can start poisoning them with gunshots, I think that that will be a, a strong, a strong asset for me uh, later on in the game. Okay, so see, this I don't understand. I noticed this before, too. You see that plus, and it's for the protective goggles? So I don't know what that's for. I'm just unsure of what, what I'm supposed to do with it. But um, we won't get that one. I'm going to try to look at another one. Um, I don't think that we need more crafting right now. Uh, this, I don't think we need. I don't think we need the science either because right now our health is functioning pretty fine. Like I'm not too worried about having the regen, faster regen outside of combat, so I'm not as, not as worried about it. Uh, there is this charisma though, which gives me better prices with merchants, which I kind of want. <clears throat> in order to, you know, in order to purchase better gear later, because I don't feel like I'll be able to wait too often for better gear to just come along. Um, so there's also the stealth, but I don't think that stealth is a very big part right now, so I'm going to hold off on that too. Uh, there's these traps though, and lock picking. I, th I think it's between traps, lock picking, or exploration. So I can collect ingredients from dead creatures, or I can... I'm going to go ahead and get this one. Because <clears throat> it lets me set traps faster, which I kind of want to experience, experiment with. And it also... Oh, wait, wait. Sorry. I'm not done there. Um, <clears throat> and it'll also give me the opportunity to start lock picking as soon as I find an okay lock. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and equip these better items. Um, just so I can get them out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, <clears throat> going to go ahead and recycle all of this stuff, too. Which, don't forget, this is due to the uh, crafting talent that I picked up. So it's definitely not um, something you can just do at the start of the game. Which I guess it would have made more sense to do this earlier. <clears throat> um, when, when I was by the crafting table. Because... Now the problem, ooh, ooh, I can, oh wait, but the, ah, oh, the defense is worse now. I'm going to hold off on that, because I can't even upgrade it to make it better. <clears throat> so I'm just not even going to worry about that. Um, honestly, I might hang on to, the, uh, yeah, I think I might hold on to this too, just for the moment. I can always come back and work on that stuff later. But yeah, this obviously would have been better to do um, before when I was at the crafting table so that I could actually take advantage of that and show you guys the different options for um, improving your weapons. There we go. The different options for improving your weapons and your armor, because it's actually really neat. Like, I I like it. Because it gives you multiple options for how to upgrade it, but it also changes the aesthetics of the gear, which I really enjoy. I'm, I'm really into crafting armor and weapons in games, too. I like being the blacksmith. I'm always either a blacksmith or a mage. Holy cow. Or a tank, I guess. But if I tank, like, I don't... I don't do damage tank, I just sit there and take it. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be interesting. So I had some trouble when I fought this one the first time, as a warrior. Um, because it was, it was hard to avoid her claws. Which, yes, I'm, I'm almost confident it's a her. Yeah, I can see she'll be that. But it was like, for some reason I couldn't get far enough away to avoid that attack right there. Ah, and see, maybe it was because of that, that like... Ah, that hurt. It has a weird area of attack. Now I feel like it's hard to predict. I guess it's like where the dust cloud is hitting, because that seems to be where I'm at when I'm taking the damage them at the edge of that uh, ash or dirt. Not ash, dirt cloud. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh, and also, oh crap, I'm stuck. I am stuck. Oh yeah, the other cool thing about fighting these monsters is that they actually... is that they actually hurt their allies, too. 
<clears throat> so sometimes I can just kind of hang back. I don't even have to worry about the minions that come out to help her. Because she actually takes care of them for me. <laughs> and also, I think I figured out kind of the kind of the reason why you have to <clears throat> sort of what the game was going for when it decided to make it so that um, you tended to take damage a lot easier than all the other characters. I like to look at it as being like, oh gosh, geez. Don't forget your health packs. Uh, so far, it doesn't look like they are too hard to get. So, um, don't, be, don't be stingy, because they definitely save your life. Um, but I think I see what this game is trying to do. Because it reminds me of uh, of Dark Souls, basically. <clears throat> As a character, you are some... You are somehow strangely weaker that oh gosh that's not good actually, I actually haven't seen this part I accidentally skipped it um, when I played my other other account Wow that was interesting jeez I have no idea what that is or like why it's happening And they're not really explaining that either. Huh. Um, so... What I was saying was I get the same feeling I get when I play Dark Souls. It's kind of a, um, you know, choose your battles wisely kind of deal. Where you're dodging in and out finding the right moments to attack, and so on and so forth. And then if you lose health, it's like, all right, time to use your your magic potion to heal yourself. And I really like playing Dark Souls. I'm actually not that bad at it. So I, I will enjoy this combat, especially with the variety of options. I, I like my options as a rogue player. Being able to shoot, being able to stab and poison... It just see it's very versatile and nice to have, I think. You, who bore witness to the secret with your own eyes, who knows in your heart of hearts that the revelation that he bears is true, and who has understood that this knowledge could cast us into endless pits of despair. As you drink the sap of the world, the water that feeds our lives, abandon the one you thought you were. And instead become our brother, Zachariah Manser. <laughs> I like how everybody's name in this game is Manser. Their last name. Together we have shared the water and I'm pretty sure it says it again here soon. Can but... you swear to forever protect the knowledge of the earth and to dedicate your life to finding it again? To defend and protect our secret, even with the sacrifice of your life, if need be. I swear. Then welcome, my brother. Yeah, see, it just said his name was Sean Manser. <laughs> so all the Technomancers, their last name becomes Manser. It's like Smith. Jason Smith. John Smith. Kevin Smith. I know you must be troubled by what you've learned, and I assure you that it's no less troubling to me. But be proud of what you are, and know, no matter what, we are by your side. And that this initiation, as horrid as it may be, makes you forever our brother. You showed the courage of lions beneath the dome, and for it, you have been made an officer. So I imagine, now that you no longer need my guidance, you will send me elsewhere with the great and endless pride of having been your teacher over these few years. The honor was mine, Master. No, not Master. It's just Sean now. Go. Take your assignment as an officer. Count the blessings you've amounted. Those that allowed you to avoid the thump thus far. Captain Eliza is waiting in the barracks. She's harsh, but fair. 
But before you find her, we all know the regulations. Technomancers get no leave from the front in times of war. So being here, I can't even sneeze without a report being written up. But you, you have a free pass. See, I don't understand how if I just became a technomancer There's officer a person, merchant. why I get a free pass and he doesn't. The merchants have no ties to abundance and travel among us like shadows. They hear things, whisper things, and pay people to forget they are there. I'm looking for information on any archaeological discoveries that could expose the Earth Breeze. Information that would help protect our secret. Ask him if they've heard of any such finds. Yes, Great Master, as you wish. <laughs> so that response from Zechariah was um, Not a single soul can hear your another brief example of one of the things that I don't like about this game, which is line delivery. <laughs> Um, it really grinds my gears that, um, at some points it sounds like they're not even trying. <laughs> That's just me, but, you know, happens sometimes. Um, sorry, excuse me, just picking up some dirt. Thanks, bye. Oh, oh yeah, don't mind me, just rummaging the trash can. All right, bye. Oh, okay, so this is the time to show you the uh, quest stuff. Okay, so here's some other quests. Um, it has completed quests, but I never care about completed quests, so I'm going to hide those. And then I'm going to follow specifically this one, because I feel like... That's what uh, he told me to do before I went to my handler or whoever she is, my officer, whatever. And so then while you're running, you can look at the map, which, is, which I think is really nice to be able to pull this up while you run to help you navigate. I'm one of these people that really takes advantage of, um, of that particular feature. So I personally think that it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, so. And right here, it tells me how to do that. Luckily, I already know how to do that. Sorry, pick up some dirt. Gotta pick up some trash. I'm cleaning up the streets. Oh yeah, and down this alleyway, there's a, there's a chest. Say hi, chest. And get some stuff. Uh, there's also... Sorry, I was just going to show this map real quick. Just to, um... Just show it off. Alright, we're good. Anyway. Alright, so I've got to go over here. And you also notice on the mini-map that it's directed. Good idea, self. Let's go question the neighboring merchants. Excuse me, neighboring merchant. Um, you can tell me about the tell me about the caravan. Tell me all about them. Tell me their secrets. Oh, some trouble. Thanks for the tip. Uh, normally I would look through his stuff. Well, actually, you know what? We are going to look through his stuff. He sells weapons. Who am I to turn away a guy that sells weapons? Oh, also the little skip button. It only skips one line, as I found out. It doesn't skip multiple lines. So, uh, yeah, to get by, that makes things a little, little easier. So, right now I have a serrated Tanto, which I could upgrade. Um... But I really want this kukri. Now, there's a reason I want this kukri. It's because in real life, I have a kukri. Uh, it's very nice. And Okay, so if you look over to the left, you'll see how much serum I have. I have 268. That is from skinning all the animals and extracting all the serum from the guys that I kill. So I'm going to use it to buy myself something nice. Okay. If we go over, we should be able to find a gun. All right, so here's one I already have. Here's one that I don't have. And it increases, huh. I'm not sure if it's worth it to get this one just yet, even though it's better, because it costs a lot of serum and I lose my chance of disrupting, which I like. And it only ups the critical chance a little bit and reduces the cooldown speed. But so far I haven't had much issue with cooldown speed since I'm actually trying to be conservative with my, um, with using it. So, oh yeah, and by the way, here's some other weapons that he's carrying. 
that uh, obviously will deal with companions later since you can't do anything about them. And he sells no wares. He only sells weapons. So that is all we can do. Um, normally I would probably sell him some stuff, but I, you know, I dismantled mantled it all so that I could have, um, so that I could have parts instead. Hello. Which we will go through and show you that we can upgrade all kinds of stuff and it'll be nice and fun and good. All right. Uh, ask about the caravan. Oh, I get it. We need to threaten you. How about this? You tell me what you know, or you'll find yourself in a room with others who'll be a little bit more assertive in their efforts to refresh your memory. All right, all right. Oh, yes! Got him. I really like doing the conversational bits. And since I'm playing as the type of character I am, I don't mind threatening people. But in my usual gameplay, I'm like, oh man, you're so nice. Yeah, I'll pay you for the information. But, you know, pushovers don't survive on Mars. So we're going to be a, a renegade, uh, renegade rogue who doesn't play by the rules. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, for some reason you haven't talked to two guys, even though really just one of them could have told you what you needed to know. So now we travel through here. Actually, wait a second. Okay. Sorry, I just had to um, remember which direction to go. And it's just, you know, just on the other side of this wall. Oh, and also doors are open with X, even though treasure chests are open with A. Who knew? That would be so unfortunate. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do in this last uh, few minutes is I'm going to fight some guys who I happen to know around the corner. And hopefully, um, it'll go well with me as a rogue. Because <clears throat> before I had to... I mean, it was, basically, it was basically just really difficult. Because, like, in order to get over to where you need to be, you need to go this way. Or you can go all the way that way. I don't believe there's a way up the middle because there's that gap there. So you go this way. You know, you're walking, you're walking, you're walking, you're walking. Then you come around here and you're like, no, 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 and then you're like, whoa. Everybody wants to kill you. Oh, I poisoned with the gun. Ah, and see, so this is the problem with these guys. Is that once you get hit by one, <laughs> you basically get hit by five of them because they start ganging up on you maliciously. So getting hit in this game is, oh, shit. No! Get out! Why am I stuck? Why am I stuck? Oh no! Son of a... Oh, Ooh, you wait till I come back over there. You are so dead. So, so dead. Okay. Regain my composure. And because I know they're here now, I'm going to use gaming logic that says that after I die, I can... Oh, hello. Never mind. Getting a bunch of pot shots there. So the other thing you have to be careful of when you're not locked on to one character is if you is if you attack in a certain direction, <clears throat> basically you're pointing towards who you want to attack. So <clears throat> if you don't keep your ah <clears throat> if you don't keep your stick pointed in the same direction at um while you're attacking while you're going towards your opponent you'll actually start switching targets ah. i need to remember that i can't do that ow 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 ah. son of a gun all right just give me one more try okay we're back and this time i was smart enough to actually equip the weapon that i bought all right so now we are going to kick some serious butt oh crap okay okay i probably shouldn't be as cocky as i am Actually, you know what? I should definitely be using some of my powers. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Keep the health up. Ow. I didn't see him attacking three times. Okay, that's Too. Right, come on. Oh, nope. Come on. Come on. Ah, I'm almost done. I can't die now. I can't. 
punch in the face. Ah, got them all. Got them all. <laughs> ah. Man, that feels good. Like, comment, and subscribe for more Technomancer walkthrough.